Good morning. My name is Joanne Pollock. I'm with Remark Art Consulting in Guelph and I'm here this morning on an absolutely phenomenal morning with Darlene Kulig at Studio 19 in Etobicoke. So Darlene, it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you this morning and be so inspired by your work and the color and the energy um, in your work is phenomenal. So I wonder if we could just take a few minutes and you could tell us a little bit about your work and how you interpret your work and how you process how you do what you sure, do. Sure, absolutely. Thank you for coming to My pleasure. Me. My pleasure. Um, I've coined a, my style as semi-abstracted spirited landscape. And being a graphic designer, they're heavily designed. But my unique thing, I believe, aside from color, is that I capture the spirit of what it is I'm painting. And my process has been developed over the last 10 years, whereby as a designer, I do very carefully design all of the aspects of my canvas. And then it's almost like coloring in, adult coloring. As Matisse said, I don't paint things, I paint the difference between things. So I'm literally painting in shapes around an outline. That's very evident in your work for sure. And um, so you structure your paintings in an interesting way. I was curious about the verticality in your work in terms of your very strong vertical lines. Tell me what that means for you in your work. Sure. Well, this vertical, which is from the COVID period, this is actually my most important series. It's called the Rebirth series. And I use the vertical to its, its full advantage in trying to get the, the sense of new growth just bursting out from the ground around us. Uh, so definitely I use shape and line to, to its best advantage. And then also color um, simultaneous contrast to really get a subtle life force, a tingling almost of my colors. Well, because your artwork certainly does tingle, but your work tells a narrative for sure. And so this is, uh, this is part of your rebirth series, but there's an awful lot of things going on in here, which are easily identifiable and some which are not. So you've got mountains, you've got a lake, you've got, you know, florals. It looks like you've got some undulating shapes in there. I'm not sure uh, whether this represents on the far left. Uh, it looks like a cityscape to me. I'm not sure what it all. This was a, a trip to Medicine Lake after the fires had swept through. Oh, okay. So the idea was the new light, the new birth will come. The sun will rejuvenate things. The wildflowers will replace the dead uh, trees from the fire escape. Hmm. Uh, so that's, that's the story of this rebirth piece. It's lovely. And I know that some people would uh, categorize your work as group of seven-ish. Do you categorize your work in that way? I get that a lot. Personally, I feel like I get the spirit of the, the, the language of what it is that I'm painting similarly to the group but my own process is my own process right and and thankfully so i just wanted to quickly touch on a couple of couple of really topical things right at the moment and because you are an artist who is pushing forward and you're having some success still in selling your work i wonder if you could tell me um, what advice you would give to artists and many artists that are struggling with with the current situation stay disciplined have a structure in your day and paint what is really meaningful to you. That's it. And then that's, that's as it. simple as that. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you very much, Darlene, for a, a great opportunity to visit and I wish you much success in the months ahead. Thank you, Joey. Thank you.